your research and get your facts straight because if you don't, it could lead to this. I have people walking up to me telling me I'm sorry for what? Frances Arroyo tearing up as she spoke to me outside her home in the Bronx as she described the false accusations that her daughter is missing and also possibly linked to a prostitution ring. My daughter has been exposed for something that she has nothing to do with. There are two incorrect accusations that have now gone viral. Emily Arroyo's face, along with more than a dozen others, plastered alongside reports from major news organizations in New York on Thursday after New York City Councilman Andy King cited these girls throwing a presser as missing and also voicing fears of a prostitution ring. That is why we started uh, the initiative of having creating safe zones in the 12th district. Now something was odd. There really were no family members at this presser or the one he held the day before on Wednesday. And I also spent all morning trying to reach out to them and I had a very hard time finding information about them on social media. So I asked the councilman this. Has anyone come forward and said this is my daughter who's gone missing? As of the last 24 hours, no. Um, but the news did report after people saw their fa faces on here, they, re they reported that she's gone. Two, two girls have returned. One, one girl has returned back home. After the press, I also reached out to the NYPD, of course, to get some information. And look at what they wrote back. There's a list of the 14 girls, nine of whom now have located next to their names, and one that says there's no missing report. Four girls are missing. And that's leaving parents like Miss Arayo outraged, <laughs> saying things like this. I'm still waiting for an answer. What are you going to do to fix it? Whoever is responsible for this is going to get a lawsuit so far up their peep that they don't know what hit them. Now for some background, Emily Arroyo went missing in April. Four days later, her mother found her. She also said she notified NYPD that she located her. So I asked the councilman on the phone earlier this morning, what happened? <laughs> you know, like how, how did this go so wrong? And he actually, uh, he admitted that when it came to Miss Arao, he felt badly for Emily, but he also defended what he did. He said this is starting a conversation about human trafficking and prostitution rings and that girls are going missing in the Bronx. But I said to him, you know, you put minors on, you know, like allowed them to be broadcast and you're not supposed to ever show photos of minors out there without parental consent. And he said he didn't necessarily agree with that, that he feels this is a bigger issue. Four of the kids are still missing. So it seems that his intentions may yeah. be right, yeah. but it just really didn't seem to go so well.